Hey everyone, as you berserker back with Dead or Alive 3. I gotta move my fucking chair closer to this microphone. <laughs> Anyways, last we had was uh Leon. Why does he have his douchebag look in the art, but then he's like normal oh, whatever. Anyways, and now we have Jen Lee, Jeet Kune Do, which I, I freaking realized. Wait, that's Bruce Lee's moves. Fuck. <laughs> Regardless. He is Chinese. He's a bouncer. He was born on November 27th. That was birthday pass, guys. Guys, we forgot to get him a gift. Wait, hold on. Let me check the calendar. This is on oh, his freaking birthday. That'd be amazing. Nope, of course not. Why would it be? As this would go, it would be posted on... That would be an MK Monday. So you know what? No, 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 no. It's not a birthday. We missed it. But we registered, and it was all good. Anyways, uh, yeah, he's five foot eight. He's 165 pounds. He only has the bust size 39 inches, so sorry. And his blood type is AB. So let's do this, shall we? Okay, we got that. Yeah, we I'm gonna go with this because this one looks a little too soul calibery. <laughs> so we're gonna go with like Bruce Lee. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably better than uh, no, no, no escape. No, no. I'm um, sorry. <sighs> no retreat, no surrender. <laughs> Where the ghost of Bruce Lee teaches some American kid who's completely obsessed with him on how to fight and they defeat Jean-Claude Van Damme and then everyone in the whole town suddenly loves him after they bully the living fuck out of him. And his probably boyfriend, uh, RJ. Which, by the way, I'm to like, okay... Okay, this movie's insane. Um, like, for instance, I saw this uh, thanks to Rift Tracks in their 24-hour Twitch channel. Fucking rad that they do that. Um, and, like, the whole time you're sitting like, okay, so uh, he got this cool friend and all that. That's cool. Jason and RJ are OTP. That's cool. And then you cut to a birthday, and then there's some girl called Kelly. And she's like, oh, I was so glad you could make it. It's like, wait, I thought he didn't have any other friends. And then you're like, oh yeah, I took you to the pet store. And then you're like, wait, wait, when does this scene happen? What, 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 the, huh? And then they bully the guy, because, like, some guy that used to be cool, so it was like, oh, I'll listen to the untrustworthy big guy. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I hate describing movies, I'm not that, that bad, but whatever. <laughs> and then, like, uh, they're bullying him. And then, you know, you don't see this Kelly chick for a while. And, like, you know, Jason and RJ have some moments. Anyways. Now he's just showboating. Jeez. Ah, <laughs> uh, Hitomi's a badass. I like that. <laughs> yeah, Hitomi. But I gotta beat you up. I'm sorry. By the way, the quest for the, uh, fan service -y, uh... Uh, title cards. I might have add I've seen some shit just now. Just so you know. I've been seeing some shit. Like, I know there's gonna be people like, Oh, Edgy just went on this site and saw- Yeah, I did see hentai. What uh, what of it? I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I'm not trying to hide that. Like, goddamn. Man, there's just some shit. Poor H Hitomi got, like, the front end of it, let me tell ya. <laughs> oh, Hitomi, honey. You're okay, though. <laughs> That's that's not canon. It's fine. Those are just dirty comics people made. It's okay. You didn't actually act in them. It was just a look-alike. <laughs> oh, Helena! I'm gonna kick your ass, though. You're cool, girl. Oh. Uh, you know what? Uh, someone in the comments pointed out about like, oh, is Geese Howard gonna take over Helena's world or like thing or whatever the Helena tech, or whatever the fuck it's called? I don't remember. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like. Oh shit, that would be so rad if they put her in tech end, because then it was like all the corporation owners, you know? Uh, the, but again though, I'm totally digging Noctis in uh, like a fucking Tekken 7, that's so good. <laughs> it's funny because like Noctis actually fits into the Tekken world really well when you look at his design compared to everyone else, you know? Like, he's very Tekken like in his design, like he has the freaking like Mishima hair for god's sake. No! Siri, no! No. 
Thanks, Siri. It's fine. No, you can totally just crash my fucking... I don't know. That's fine, Siri. It's fine. I, I didn't need your help anyway, Siri. It's not fine. Really. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, though. Helena... Geese Howard and Helena and fucking, like, you got the Zaibatsu and G-Tech and Violet Corp- Like, you just get all the corpse! Just get all the corpse in on it. I, I didn't play Final Fantasy XV, so I don't know if Noctis has a corp. <laughs> I, don't worry, Final Fantasy XV is in my real house. I will be playing that game. Uh, I don't think I'll be doing it for the channel. I'd probably be doing it on my own, just to enjoy it, you know? So I hear it's a flawed game, but you know what? It's cool. Because right, I also hear it's flawed, but in the right direction. And that makes me happy to know that. I cannot play Jan Lee for the life of me. That's what I did realize. <laughs> Hayabusa, why you gotta kick my ass, girl? Oh, this is like the worst playthrough ever. <laughs> hey, Siri! How can I improve my game in Dead or Alive? Thanks, I guess. <laughs> How can I prove my game dead is dead or alive? Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. You're trying, Siri. I know you're trying. You're trying so hard, girl. I know you had a rough day. Everyone's just like telling you to beatbox and shit. I know it's hard. I know. Oh, this cool stage. See that some of these cutscenes are starting to uh, overlap. Ooh, I like, I like. God, I, this is not how <laughs> Leon remembers it. Oh, fuck, that's so cool though. Come on, yeah, fall off, idiot! <laughs> I just got ya. Oh no! Oh my head! No! Bro, no, Leon, please. Yeah! Okay, that was alright. That was fine. I gotta fight a boss, it's stupid. Man, Jan Lee is total fan service, though, for real. <laughs> and not in, like, the Bruce Lee tribute sort of way, just in the damn, he looks good without a shirt on. <laughs> being even in that sense, you know? How? <laughs> you know, as long as I do these fucking kicks, I think I'm gonna get ahead of this guy. I don't know, I just still don't quite understand why the boss fight has to be like this, though. It's so weird. Like, how, how did someone think, yeah, yeah, this is totally comfy, don't worry about it. I don't know how to fight this idiot. Oh, come on! Ah, this fight's so stupid. Yeah, if anything, uh, my enjoyment of DOA 3 is pretty good. Um, I just think this is a dumb boss fight, though. Like, I fucking hate this boss fight a lot. This is not an actual, like, fight game thing. It's like some sort of weird third-person crap. I don't, I don't- I don't like it. I just don't like this, though. <laughs> no. Fuck's sake, come on. See, it's like he just, like, almost like it's a wave of, like, power shit, you know? For fuck's sake, come on! This is, like, the worst boss, for real. Yeah, if DOA was getting any, like, disapproval from me, it's definitely this fight right here. Like, this is bull hockey, you know? Like, this is some shit. <laughs> like, they change the angle completely, and then they just have this, like... I don't know, this fight's stupid. Like, I hate this battle. This is the worst boss fight, hands down. So, DOA 3, good game, but this part here... Some bullshit, let me tell you. Anyways, let's see what Jan Lee's got to say. I'm sure he has something important to say to all of us.
And go. Stop deep throating the bottles and no smoking in here either. Anyways, now I'm gonna have my shirt off. Check out my abs. Check out my biceps. I just called you over here to look at my torso. Check out when I spin around, my muscles ripple. Ladies, you like what you see? Gentlemen, do you also like what you see? Because Jan Leash certainly likes what he sees. Check out that rad bar. <clears throat> Hit you. Yeah. yeah, you're jealous of those abs. And my bus size. I may not have a Leon bus size, but I'm happy with what I have. Check out my ass now. Mm. That's right. We put some uh, female gaze onto uh, Dead or Alive because I felt that was appropriate. <laughs> Anyways, this is Edgy Berserker signing off on this fan service edition, I guess, of Dead or Alive 3. Uh, till next episode, I will see y'all later. Bye now.